Hey guys, um, Kuzumi Tiger here, I guess, from Laoya. Um, here's a comparison video between the uh, Logitech G710 Plus and the one I'm selling on my thread, a Ling Yi keyboard. They're both mechanical keyboards. This one is using a Cherry MX Brown switch, and this is a, uh, what is it? Uh, Otemu. And uh, it's the blue switch. Uh, could you show? Oh, wait. Could... This is my friend right here. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, could you pull off one of those keys? Just to show off the switch. Yes, please. I may. Okay, so what we have here, uh, oh, it is a bit bright. Yeah, we'll turn back now. This is a brown switch. And as for the Lingyi, we have... Keep in mind that this is a Cherry MX clone switch. So it works exactly the same way as it would with a Cherry MX. Uh, but this is blue though, so it's a lot more tactile. So, um, Note that the 710 Plus has... Yep. Rubber O rings underneath. Yep, yep. If you can yep. see it, whatever. You could mod this into your Lingyi as well, but they are so separately, so we're going to have to look from other sellers. I do not carry them yet. I don't intend to, I think. But yeah, um, could you like uh, use a uh, G710 switch on the Lingyi? Plug it into the, oh, okay. the Lingyi keyboard. Just to demonstrate? Yeah, that just it, to demonstrate that, that it works. it's compatible so that you can mod it in future if you want. See, right there? So this is a Cherry MX keycap on a Lingyi keyboard, so they work perfectly fine. So you can easily go on Laoya or anywhere else, Taobao also as well. You can get the, uh, the customized escape buttons or whatever. You can just mod it in there. I'm not selling them as well yet. Maybe I'll bring them in. Maybe I'll ask you guys to like join me in a group buy or something like that. But yeah, um, let's um, compare the uh, typing of these two keyboards. I, I know they're not both blue switches. One is brown, one is blue, but... Um, with rubber rings. Yeah, with rubber rings. Uh, but just as a demonstration, because I do not have a proper cherry blue with me right now. So here goes. This is with the brown switch with O-rings, so it's a little bit quiet. Yeah, they're meant to be quiet switches and they're not tactile at all. While for the blue switch, the Otemu Blue, they're really similar to the Cherry MX switches. Could you give it a tight piece? Yep, that's how it is. Next up, we have the lighting options for this keyboard. Uh, now, uh, it is worth noting that they only come in this kind of LED variant whereby you cannot have all of them ha uh, being single color LEDs or anything like that. So I'm afraid we're just going to have to live with it. I'm okay with it though. I'm not sure about you. If you're not okay with it, you can easily just switch it off. I believe this was the button. The... There we go. You can just switch it off. The six to seven option. Yeah, six to seven buttons, yeah. But uh, you have a few other animations. This is the standard all of the time. The solid button. Yep, yep. And you can press the scroll lock button again. And this is how it will be. It's a pow stingy going on. And for the next one, with this. And keep yeah. in mind that you can actually adjust the speed of this by pressing function. And I believe it's the left. Yeah. So it's slower now. It does not look as good when it's slow, so maybe just speed it up by pressing the right with the function button. So you have more options. And this. I, I think this is the closest you can get to Razer's lighting modes. That's about it. Um, this keyboard also comes with a keycap puller. So yeah, it's placed at the bottom of it. Could, could you show the bottom, please? It goes over here. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah. But it you get the point. Nicely stores in here. Yeah. Yeah. So you never lose it, unless you forget. Which is great. And, uh, oh, okay. right, there are ridges as well for you to manage the cable. This is a braided USB cable, by the way. You can put it over here so that it will go out from here. 
or the other way around, up to your preference. And there is also, of course, the stand for it. Yes. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, they have the stand over there. Uh, pretty solid, I would say. It elevates it. It elevates it really nicely. So, yeah. Like so. I'd like to mention that there's actually rubber underneath here. So it won't scratch your desk. It won't really slide around as well. Yeah, yep, that as well. There's also, yeah, the rubber thingy. And uh, what else do we have? Is the mm. metal backing compared to the plastic backing? Yeah, I mean, this front? is been a plastic. This is, br I, I, I think it's brushed aluminum. I'm not too sure, but it's really definitely not plastic. So it's metal. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, what else are we missing out here? Are we missing out on anything? Nah, not much. I just yeah. want to mention that the cables. Oh, right, right, right. The yeah. cable. The USB port of this, um, we're actually using a pass through. You can see it from here. Okay, I've turned it off. This is how it looks like. It comes with a cap for you to cover it when you're not using it. I guess when you want to transport it or something. Yeah. So, yeah. And I guess that's about it when it comes to the features of this keyboard. Mm, pretty sure it's a really good buy. I mean, for sub 200 ringgit pricing. So, you should really want to consider it if you're just a student and you're on a tight budget and you really want to try something out. Uh, when it comes to mechanical keyboards. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. All right, we forgot to mention that the keyboard comes with a plastic cover. So when no, you're not dust. using it, yeah, you can just put it on top and you'll be dust free. Pretty neat. You don't get this in most mechanical keyboard brands. Uh, I think. Also, it covers up the entire side as well. Yep, dust can't get in from there. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. We would also like to thank Jeffrey from Tech Gila. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't have discovered this keyboard in the first place. Maybe go check him out.